Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Monday the 25th of June 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. As it's a Monday, we'll look at things from a weekly perspective. Uh, to be honest, no clear narrative really uh, across the course of, uh, of last week. Uh, we saw the euro pushing back as we felt it might up by around 0.17%, but it was a little higher um, than that. Uh, New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi, well, we know what happened there. Uh, poor GDP figures and the, the currency gave ground down by around 0.67%. Uh, over the last week. The Japanese yen has strengthened again uh, against the US dollar and uh, perhaps that's reflecting uh, concerns about an, in an in increasing and escalating trade war and safe haven flows flowing into the yen. Uh, the dollar index for its part failed to retain uh, that 95 level trading now around 9460 shortly before we recorded the video and actually down around 0.23 percent on the week so flying in the face really of that strong dollar narrative. And then in terms of cryptocurrencies, a poor week for both Bitcoin and Ether. Bitcoin down by around 8.26% and Ether down by more than 13% as uh, there were concerns about uh, the, the security of the mainstream crypto exchanges. Right then, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. A relatively light calendar. We've already had uh, leading economic index and coincident index data out of Japan earlier on this morning. Uh, both of those numbers coming come in significantly better, I think it's fair to say. To come at 8 a.m. GMT from Germany, the influential IFO expectations and current assessment uh, data uh, survey of businesses um, and their expectations looking forward so please pay attention to that one at 12 30 and over the atlantic we shall see the chicago fed national activity index for may uh, that'll be followed at 1400 by new home sales data in the u.s uh, for may and then at 14 30 the second of the day's uh, regional fed activity indices data the dallas fed manufacturing business index for june after that there are three month and six month bill auctions at 1530 in the states and if you're still in the market at 2350 you can find japan corporate service price information for the month of may on a year on year basis Right then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight and over the weekend. First of all, Indonesian exports posted double-digit growth in May, uh, suggesting that uh, it's not all over for the emerging markets just yet. Meanwhile, the People's Bank of China has unexpectedly reduced its reserve rate requirement, uh, the amount of money that banks and financial institutions have to keep uh, in reserve and that's effectively added a hundred billion dollars of additional liquidity to the Chinese financial system. Uh, the Chinese currency, the yuan, has eased on the news. Brent crude oil has traded below $74 per barrel in Asia after OPEC's agreement on Friday to boost production by up to a million barrels of oil per day and the incumbent President Ergodan has declared an election victory in Turkey after yesterday's polls. Right then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Uh, and today I thought we'd flag something of interest. 20 must-know stats for investors. Do take a, a moment to look at these statistics collated and provided by Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Very interesting and well worth knowing when you're making investment decisions. Right then, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business if you're in any debt about the suitability of these products or the risks involved in trading them then please do contact your pepperstone account representative thank you for your time